For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shots. Snip the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Uh, this is not just your normal update video when it comes to uh, play ratings, which is something that I typically do on Thursdays. It's something that EA releases a lot on Thursdays. There's actually a lot more information that was released, including the team ratings changes, which isn't something that they typically do. But I guess going into the playoffs, they wanted to do something about that. So I have some information about that, as well as uh, some information about an online CFM that I'm going to be creating with my subscribers. I talked about it yesterday in yesterday's gameplay update video uh, when they change the crossplay. Now you got crossplay. If you guys can catch that, I can give you a quick synopsis uh, of at least as far as the CFM is concerned. Uh, but before I get into all that, if you guys want me to continue to do these videos, these update videos, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, or let me know in the comment section. And other than that, let's, go, let's get right into the video. Now I want to start off with, like I said, last, uh, the, the, the update that came out yesterday I had a lot of gameplay changes, but one of the bigger update changes was to CFM. Now there's crossplay in CFM. So now that that exists, and you can play whether you're, um, you know, an Xbox user, PlayStation user, or a computer user, uh, as long as it's next gen. All these guys can get together in one franchise mode. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to start something that I wanted to do for a while, which is an online CFM. So if you guys want to get in that, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Obviously, it's going to be a 32 user league. Uh, but I have a lot of people that I want to get in that have been following this channel for a very long time. If you're on like my Patreon or my Join Now community, uh, if you're if you're paying money in any way to support this channel, you you have an opportunity to get in first. But like I said, there are a lot of people that have been trying to get in the league with me for a while. So it's gonna, I'm not really sure how I'm going to work it out. But I'm going to need gamer tags for people that are interested so I can communicate with you guys and invite you. So if you are interested in getting the league, I had a lot of people say that yesterday. But I didn't think ahead of time to tell them to leave a gamer tag. So if you want to get into my league, you just have to drop your gamer tag. Let me know if it's Xbox or PlayStation in the comment section right now. I'm also going to be making posts on my community tab in the future, uh, like I did today, where I'm going to be looking for people, uh, just you know, trying to figure out a way to get people together, pull these people together. I don't really have, I mean, I have like a Facebook community and stuff like that, but I'm not very active on it. So just leave a, a gamer tag and tell me what system you're on in the comment section. Uh, and I'll try to figure this out. But I'm going to be starting this probably on Monday, trying to get people together to uh, to join this league uh, with a couple of people. i got two co-commissioners already. So if you're interested in that, like I said, let you know the instructions. Other than that, the biggest thing from today's update uh, to me was probably how they changed um, you know, the overalls of teams. I mean, they usually do player ratings, but they don't usually change the overalls very often. They did a massive overall rating as you're looking at it now uh, with the playoff teams. The number one highest rated team now in the game is the Baltimore Ravens, which totally makes sense because they earned that spot out of 92 overall. The Philadelphia Eagles, which is my team, which was the former number one team who has been just straight dive bombing out of the playoffs probably, uh, they dropped all the way to an 86. I think they were 93 not too long ago. So maybe now I can use them and people won't complain about me using the best team, which is actually probably a good thing. Uh, but ultimately, that's, um, you know, there's a lot of different ratings changes. I think the second highest rated team is the Niners now at a 91. Not sure what they were before. I think I saw the Cowboys were an 89. The Dolphins, who beat them, are somehow lower rated at an 88. Uh, but, you know, a lot of ratings. Now. Let's go through them real quick. The Chiefs, though, how are they still a 90? And their offense is a 92, and their offense is a fucking joke. I had somebody getting at me in my comments not too long ago in my last video because I said that Patrick Mahomes should probably lose his 99 rating. He has 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. I'm not sure how many fumbles. I don't think he even has any rushing touchdowns. But either way, that's not a 99 overall rated type of year, if you ask me. Kelsey... I feel like he probably could drop him a point too, but he did. I think he did break a thousand yards. If I'm, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't really check, but he's done that like eight straight years. So I don't really have a problem with that. But I mean, Mahomes. I still feel like Mahomes did not perform like a 99 overall quarterback this year. I mean, we saw Aaron Rodgers get hurt on like the second play of the game, and he's dropped like five or six rating points throughout the year without even playing. So I don't understand how Patrick Mahomes played all year. Everybody knows the offense is the problem. And yet, yet now, even with them changing the rings, we have an 84 overall rated defense, even though everybody knows their defense is the better part of that team right now. And their offense is still rated 92, which if I go through this real quick, it's probably, that might be like the highest rated offense in the game. And it doesn't deserve it at all. I mean, I don't see any offense. That, I mean, they're, they're not performing like that. So they have the highest rated offense. I guess the Cowboys coming in second at 91. And their offense is just trash. 
So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Playoffs are coming. I'm sure that guy was just a Chiefs fan, but let's be real. Like, the Chiefs offense is not the best offense in football right now. It makes no sense at all. So, just to give you guys a quick look at the new ratings before I get into the actual player ratings, which I'll do next. And as always, I'll start from the top. Now, there wasn't a lot of really highly rated players. Last week, the highest rated changes were Jesse Bates and Lamar Jackson as they both jumped up to a 97. Today, the highest rating change was Nick Chubb. Another guy, just like I mentioned, Aaron Rodgers. Hasn't played all fucking year, but for some reason, he went down a point to a 96 and his awareness went down four points i mean i don't know how much less aware he became on the bench uh, recovering from a very serious injury but that makes absolutely no sense tristan worse is the highest rated player to go up he's now to a 94 pretty sure he started the year at like a 90 or maybe like a 91 i guess he's yeah they started at 92 so he's only up two points on the year uh but still a lot of young linemen have been getting uh ratings boost throughout the year i don't really know you know what to attribute that to uh, another buccaneers player antoine winfield these two ratings by the way we're starting off with two buccaneers players but I, that can't be based off of what they did last week because last week they didn't really play good at all. I mean, they won 9 nothing against probably the worst team in football, and by all means, they should have lost. If it, were, if it wasn't for a fumble out of the back of the end zone and a missed field goal, they would have lost 10-9 to to the to the Panthers. Like, the Panthers just kept shooting themselves in the foot and gifted them that game. So I don't know why, um, you know, I don't necessarily understand. I mean, I know I'm not saying Antoine Field or these guys aren't great players. It just does, it's not based off of last week's performance. It can't be. Uh, Chris Lindstrom went down a point. Another lineman that's just like, up and down all year long. The guy started the year at a 93, had a Pro Bowl season. I'm pretty sure he made the Pro Bowl and somehow ends the year down a point to a 92. So EA, once again, what the hell are they doing? Uh, Darius Slay, he hasn't played a game in four weeks. So I don't know why his rating went down. I know that they overall just like dropped a lot. I'm guessing, I haven't looked at it. I'm, 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 you know, I'm basically doing this live, looking at these range changes while I talk to you guys. But I can't imagine what he did once again. Injured, a lot of injured players going down for what reason, I don't know. I never really understand that. Aaron Rodgers has been going down all year, which I don't understand either. Uh, we also have uh, DeMario Davis. Went down to a 92. Lost a point. Not really sure why. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, continuing forward, though, Kevin Byard, another Eagles player that went down a point, uh, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, he's a guy. He only, I'm pretty sure he started the year as a 92. I mean, I... For the record, I don't blame any of the Eagles' tr struggles on the players at this point. I blame it on horrible coordinator replacements that the Eagles made in the offseason. They did not replace their coordinators very well. And then halfway through the season, more than halfway through the season, they switched defensive coordinators as well, which, you know, try to learn a new job in like four weeks. It doesn't work that way at the, at this level. So the Eagles are, you know, I don't blame the players is my point. Christian Darisol went up two points. He's now up to a 90 from an 85 overall at, the, at launch. Creed Humphrey, who I think made like, you know, Pro Bowl, uh, he went down a point again for the you know the highest rated offense in Madden for some reason. He is ending the year criminally underrated, maybe the best center in football at the exact same rating that he started the year in. So go make sense of that. Like I said, still the number one rated offense in Madden. Make you know that makes a ton of sense. Khalil Mack, he went up a lot this year. I mean, it's not easy for veteran players to move up, at least not like CFMs and stuff. He was as low as an 83 in week three. So he's going all the way up to a 90 now with another point rate uh, boost. Had a really good year, obviously. Um, I think he was leading, leading the sacks for most of the year. I'm not sure if he still is. I don't think he finished here that way. But uh, he went up, you know, five points total on the year, having, uh, I think he, well, he set a record in a game, or he tied a record in a game for sacks, I think, against the Raiders. So, you know, definitely a really good year. Daniel Hunter, another guy, had a monster year, down a point. The last two weeks, by the way, down a point from, from an eight, to an 89. He started the year on an 87, had a monster year. Somehow he's only gone up two points. Derek Brown, guys played like an all-pro level this year, kind of out of nowhere. Uh, up two points, another really good rating boost, uh, up from an 84 to an 89. Once again, made a Pro Bowl, um, you know, might make all pro. I'm not really sure, but there's definitely, um, you know, definitely a really good player as, you know, we're seeing players on really bad teams just go up out of nowhere. I, Alex Highsmith, who they're going to need a monster game out of him. I don't think that Jay, uh, the, I keep getting her name mixed up, the, the Watt brother that plays for uh, <laughs> for the Steelers, uh, TJ, he went up to, uh, he went up two points. So with T.J. Watt out, they're going to need him to play like that. Obviously, another really great player. Uh, they're going to need a, an outstanding performance from from their defense, though. That's for sure. But he started the year as an A too, so he's going up six points on the year. Bobby Wagner had an All Pro. I'm not sorry, not All Pro. He had a Pro Bowl. He's one of two Pro Bowl linebackers for the NFC. Uh, he went up a point after going down a point just last week. So maybe they realized how stupid they looked. Uh, but he started the year as an A9. So the guy, I think he might have like he's one of the top five in tackles if he didn't lead the league in tackles. And somehow his rating went down a whole point over the year, which is what I mean about how stupid the inconsistency is 
for EA. Uh, Deron Bland also made the Pro Bowl, went up a point. Uh, he's now up to an 88. I mean, that's just an incredible rise. There's there's a few players that have rised higher, quicker than Deron Bland, but um, you know he deserves that. You break a record for touchdowns. I'm sorry, there's not a more valuable statistic than touchdowns, especially on defense, where your job is just to keep other teams from scoring. So I have no hate on that at all. That dude's amazing. I can't give that dude nothing but credit in his second year to uh, to set that record up from a 75, 88 to a 70, or from a 75 to an 88, which is uh, which is amazing. Uh, Elton Jenkins, uh, the left guard for uh, the Packers, went up a point to an 88. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on linemen, though. Uh, we're going to go a little bit deeper this time because I really would like to, to see, you know, what players down the line actually got ratings boosts. Mika Hyde went down a point. Don't know why. Pretty sure he started the year at a 90. It looks like it was an 89, actually. So, had a good year, but down a point. He, he might have made the Pro Bowl, too, for all I know. Uh, Von Miller, down another point. Not even sure if he's been playing. I know he was injured at one point. Uh, but he started the year as a 94 and is down an 88. I'm not sure if his uh, year reflects that accurately. Harrison Smith down a point. Uh, he went down from a, um, I guess it's starting of the year. He's down at 87. I'm not sure he started the year. He started the year at 90. That's a guy, you know, he's getting older. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Here's a guy. I usually am pretty, uh, you know, pretty passionate defender Jalen Hurts once again. He's down a point from last year. I guess that makes sense because he definitely didn't play as good this year as he, as he played last year. But I still believe in Jalen Hurts. I still think he's a great player. Like I said, I just I blame the coordinators. I don't think they have any fucking clue what they're doing. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons down a point to an 87. Another guy. I'm sure he started the year higher than that. Started the year as an 89. Joey Bosa down a point to an 87. Another guy started the year off as an 88. I, I don't know. He doesn't really, you know, I don't think he's necessarily done a ton. I, I can't argue that rating. Uh, Jonathan Taylor up a point to an 87. This is a guy who not too long ago, I mean, he started the year as an 89. And somehow went down. I think he had a pretty decent year, but he not too long ago he was like a 94, 95, and I still think he's that type of player. So I don't really know what they're doing there. Uh, so we're almost to the midway point of this video as far as the ratings. Alvin Kamara down a point to an 86. Uh, I mean, they've just been down on him all year. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think he's still a really good player. Derek Stingley Jr. up a point to an 86. Another young guy started the year pretty low, uh, pretty pedestrian at a 77. So a nine point boost for a former, what was he, like the third overall pick in the draft? Great player in college, all that stuff. Uh, Justin Matabuke, I'm not really sure how to say his name, but he, I'm pretty sure he made the Pro Bowl for uh, for the um, for the Ravens. He started the year as a 78, had a really good year, 10 plus point ratings boost over the year. Colton Miller down a point to an 86. Uh, this is another guy. I started the year as an 87, so somehow he had a down year. I thought he, you know, like most linemen, I thought he'd raise up. Tyreek Woolen just last week went up a point. Well, he gave that point right the fuck back. He's only gone up three points throughout the years. He's now up to an 86. And from here, I'm just going to go to the big movers because a lot of times, um, you know, this is really where you'll find, um, you know, some really interesting uh, lower profile guys like Austin Eckler, who's not a low profile guy at all, but he went down two points to an 82, started the year on an 89. Uh, let me know in the comment section, Chargers fans, does he deserve that? Because over the last two weeks, he's going down three points, which I don't even understand that, but... Um, you know, I guess he didn't have a good year last year. I know last year he was like one of the league league scorers. So that makes a little bit of sense. Kyle Van Noy still hanging around up two points this last week. He's up to an 80 now. As pretty much every Ravens player is probably getting a boost because they're just trying to pump up uh, that roster overall rating, I would imagine. And that's pretty much it. Baker Mayfield, though, I guess he had a bad week. Hopefully he has a bad week coming up this week, too, because he went down two whole points after he went up the last couple of weeks. He's gone up a couple of points. He was almost to an 80, and now he's going all the way back down. As he started the year on a 72, he's, he's ending the year on a 77. And uh, not a lot of quarterbacks on here at all, to be honest with you. But I'm going to end the video there. So if you guys want me to continue this video, as always, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as I'll continue to do them. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. I'm out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.